We're back on WAFB 9 News at 9, and the LSU School of Music is hosting a free Women in Jazz concert series this weekend, featuring contributors from female jazz co composers, singers, and the first ever performance from the LSU Women in Jazz Rising All-Star Combo. Here to tell us a little bit more, Assistant Professor of Jazz Studies, Dr. Molly Redfield. Thank you for oh, coming in. Thank you so much for having me oh this morning. Oh my gosh, it's a, uh, a male-dominated field. We were talking, and I don't is. think it was m malicious no. or anything like that. But it's just you hear about the men that were in, in jazz and brought that up. But uh, there's a lot of a, a lot of influential women as well. That's exactly right. And this series, you know, is really aimed at helping young women be able to see themselves in this music, hear themselves in this music, and help out music educators in supporting them through entering into this field and, and hopefully continuing. You know, our big goal is to see them all the way through to be at the professional level or at the college level. And this is just a really amazing opportunity for us to get to perform alongside um, not only professional jazz musicians from all over, but also uh, with high school uh, jazz musicians as well. You were telling me about that, and you guys are, uh, first of all, it's free for people it's like me that want to come in Friday yes. night at 7.30, Saturday a Q and a at 10, and then Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock, all in the, uh, the new Music and Dramatic Arts building, or the Correct. music building. Uh, what is uh, the, the high school involvement, or the school involvement that morning, Friday morning? Absolutely, so Friday morning, uh, thanks to the Arts Council of Greater Baton Rouge, we will be going on a tour with the professional ensemble, which is all female musicians, and we'll go to different middle schools all around the Baton Rouge area. And then when we come back, there is the first ever LSU Women in Jazz Rising All-Stars combo. And these are actually high school students who are all female identifying, who submitted in auditions tapes to be part of this amazing combo. And there's five of them. They come from Haynes Academy, and they'll be putting on their opening of the concert on March 1st at 7.30 p.m. And then the professional ensemble will join them that evening uh, to close out the concert. And then at the very end, the LSU Women in Jazz students, the high school students, and the professionals will all come together to play one big grand finale together. That is so exciting. Yeah. I haven't heard of this before ever. I know, it's the first one. We're very excited. And then on March 2nd, you can come hear the encore performance uh, down at the New Orleans Jazz uh, Museum as well at 2 p.m. That is also free and we will feature that professional ensemble one more time. What do you hope to accomplish? You came down here two years ago uh, yes. to join the program here at LSU and kind of uh, enjoy it now that you know how to listen for, for, for the dialect. Correct. Because I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm only four hours away in Texas and I came over here and I didn't know what they were saying. But... <laughs> You are having a, a good time, you said. Now, what are you hoping to accomplish with regard to spreading this message and spreading this, uh, you know, women in jazz, getting more women interested in this? Absolutely. Well, you know, I grew up um, performing music. I come from a family of musicians. But when I entered into jazz specifically, I was predominantly the only female on stage. And I play the bass, which is one of the most male-dominated instruments. Uh, in fact, it's even introduced as like the lowest instrument. So it has this whole kind of masculine energy behind it. And to be, you know, able to share with young female musicians that not only can they see themselves and hear themselves, but that they want it. They, that we want them to join us and that they have a place to continue to perform jazz. So when I came here to Louisiana last year, we did a little reach out series similarly, but only to just go introduce ourselves and see what the schools needed. And actually two of the students who are performing with the Rising All Stars came up to me and begged me to do something again. And so we kind of came together and created this whole plan with the hopes that, that this will continue and that we'll be able to keep uh, really passing on the torch to the next generation of amazing female musicians. So I'm just grateful to be here and we're going to have some local uh, musicians as well. Uh, Autumn Dominguez, who plays saxophone, and Rose Cangelosi, who plays drums, are coming up from New Orleans. We have Kellen Hainis on trumpet coming from New York. We've got Bailey Ergot and Yin Kim coming over from Texas. And then myself, a uh, California transplant. So together, you know, we're hoping to, to show that there's a place here. Thank you so much, Dr. Redfield, My for being down here. My absolute pleasure. Thank Birth you. Birthplace of jazz. You could be in a better exactly place. That is exactly right. All right, check it out this weekend. More on our website and more in a moment on 9 News at 9. Stay with us.